I've been trying to take my eyes off you Oh girl, it ain't easy, just let go of that body Why you gotta keep flirting? Hey guys, it's Bible Johnny Tech Review. Hope you guys are having a good week so far. So today I have a pretty quick review of this little mechanical keyboard that I recently just started using. Uh, this one is from a company called uh, Ajaz. And here they have this little box here. It's like a geek logo, but anyway, it's from a company called Ajaz. And inside the box, you get a few different items. You get the mechanical keyboard itself. Yes, it's a very small size keyboard, as you can see, pretty portable. It's RGB key lighting, just in case you're wondering. You have a key puller. You have here a little brush to clean up stuff. You also have a mini USB cable. This is like a four or five feet cable here. Uh, this is a little power cable with a little shield. And then finally you have a user menu. So this user menu here is pretty useless. It's in Chinese. So anyway, unless you're Chinese, you won't be able to read it. So you can either do two things, find a Chinese friend or just do Google Translate. All the instructions down here kind of tell you all the function key. A good thing is actually not that hard to figure it out. It's on the keyboard and you can see all the different function key and the lighting key and everything here. We'll be dimming the lights, then lock the door. I know it sounds crazy, but hey, we're... So first off, uh, the keyboard in the back is very glossy as you can see. You got fingerprint everywhere. I cleaned it earlier and I was just holding it to film and it's already dirty again and you can see all the little fingerprint and everything. Here it's a geek, but the company here is called Ajax as you can see just like that right here. So the keyboard itself is supposedly a blue switch, so it has a pretty nice tacky feel here. So that sounds pretty good. I will do a little typing test in a minute here to give you an idea. You have a bottom blade here that's aluminum, uh, but really the LED lights are not really that bright. They are RGB of course, but they're not very that bright. So unless you are in a dim condition, you're not gonna see too much of a color. That's the one thing I do wanna point out quickly. I will dim the light and demo a little bit later to kind of give you an idea. Uh, but if you're using these in direct sunlight or in a really you know bright window, that's not gonna be a good thing for you because you're not gonna see a lot of color out of this thing. So everything is built into the keyboard. There is no uh, actual software or anything. So you don't have any software to customize any profile. All the profiles are built in and you can just switch it between function F8 here. And then you can change the rate interval, different color option down here using the arrow key. There's seven level of brightness setting. And I'll go into that a little bit later. Other than that, you also have multimedia key up here you can use. And yeah, that's basically about it. All right guys, so the microphone is pointing straight up. We're just gonna give you a little sample of what it sounds like. And remember, this is kind of like the MX Blue. Um. So use this with the leg up, just give you the angle. All right, now we will switch out and try with the quick fire rabbit. Here we go. Use this blue switch, uh, MX Cherry to be exact. On this tiny switch here. They don't bottom out as much and they bounce back pretty quick. What I also like is the way it bottoms out. You don't have to type all the way in, but you know, midway it engage. So yeah, pretty nice uh, actuation force. It's not too much weight down. And it feels really clicky and really tactile and I really like that. All right guys, so I have the keyboard plug in here just kind of give you a demo of all the quick lighting mode it has. So this keyboard is in the RGB uh, switch, as you can see here. Uh, the keys are changing to different colors. Right now it's in this kind of ripple effect and it's just doing its own demo thing. So to change the key, all we have to do is just press the function key here and F8 and that will change to a different lighting mode. So I have the light dim a little bit to kind of show you guys. Just kind of like sprinkle stars. Here we go. Switch it again to use a kind of, you know, wavy back and forth mode right here, as you can see. Press it one more time, and then we have this uh, basically, I think this is the changing color light. The flickering you see in the view is just from the camera. Uh, in real life, it does not flicker like that. Uh, but anyway, this is basically a permanent color. Uh, you can actually switch the color here by pressing this here. And you can do different color, as you can see. Blue, uh, pink, green, uh, blue, blue here, red. You can also change the brightness up and down just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the max, and I'll let you know that was max. Anyway, we can go back to another mode here. Again, this is kind of like the different color, and it's a slowly changing color here, as you can see. Different zone, we can do it again. So while we're in this mode, this is the off mode, and one more time, it takes us to this wavy color. There is a reactive mode here somewhere, it's coming up. Now here we have a reactive mode, kind of delay. You can see the wavy effect. You can type and it has a delay dim away. As you can see, you can change the different color using the arrow key. But anyway, it's random just like that. And you can have it random color or just one color. Another mode here. This is the kind of ripple mode. Pressing is typing different stuff. You can also change the color. 
So if you do ripple, just red, you know, ripple, orange, ripple again, just green. So I want to show you the difference between the two. So yes, is that keyboard, and here is my Quick Five Rabbit from. You can see. Just give you the side comparison. Just give you an idea right now. So yeah, it's a pretty small keyboard. So some of the advantage I really like on this keyboard is that you actually get a full size keyboard. Of course, you don't get a number key, but you have really big arrow key as you can see right here. Uh, what I do not like is this little button here. It's the shift button. This right shift button is very small. A lot of time I accidentally hit the arrow key often instead of pressing shift. So that is something to keep in mind, but that is basically the sacrifice you're making for having a smaller layout keyboard. Other than that, all the other keys are standard layout and the function key and the home key, everything is really well placed. So it's very intuitive and I really like that. So another thing I do want to point out is that I really don't like the way this plug is plugged in. I see a lot of keyboard does this and uh, this is not really a good design because when you plug this in like this, I feel like uh, if you have something, you can accidentally knock it and damage it. So I wish that they embedded just underneath like the rapid fire where it goes inside and it gets some protection. But yeah, just, just hang out like this. Of course, you can buy something like an angle block uh, for a mini USB cable if you want to find one of those. But other than that, it goes in straight like this and I'm not a real fan of that. So guys, that is basically my quick review of this Jazz RGB keyboard. A really nice uh, clone of the MX Cherry Blue and it has a really nice tactile feedback. At the time of this review, I think the price was like $54. So it's quite good for an RGB keyboard. Of course, you're not getting any software to control it uh, if you're interested in that kind of thing. If you just like building stuff and you like a, a you know, a compact keyboard, you know, with not much compromise, uh, this is a really nice keyboard. So thanks to Ajax for sending this unit out to me for review. If you guys found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't done that yet. And stay tuned and subscribe for more future review. Thank you. Oh,